Hello. Yes, hello. Good morning. I'm phoning about the Black and Decker workbench. Yes. Well, my name is Raymond Archibald. I'm from the Copyright Bureau, and it would appear that no effort's been made to seek permission from Black & Decker. Uh-huh. Yet it clearly says in the advert, Black & Decker Workbench. Now, that's illegal, basically. Saying that we shouldn't have put that in the paper. Did anybody tell me that? No, they did not. Right, well, tell them. I'm not putting up with this. What's all this fuss about? Blatant usage of a brand name. Well, why didn't they tell us this? Well, I spoke to the lady that took the copyright information from you and she tells me that she did explain to your wife. She's a bloody liar, I can tell you right now. Good God, this is ridiculous. Well, we have the power to come and confiscate the bench. I tell you, if you try it, there'll be trouble. You see, sir... Whoever comes to collect it, had better come prepared. Well, you see, sir, if you just put in workbench, then we wouldn't have had a leg to stand on. It's EC, it's Brussels. This law came in on the 31st of December. Well, Brussels are a bloody arsehole anyway. I'm telling you, if anybody comes to try and collect it, there'll be trouble. Well, that's breaking the law, sir. I don't give a damn whether it's breaking the fucking law or not. So you can take it which way you like and take us to court if you like. I can do one more thing for you, sir. Yes, what? I can tell you that this is Robin Galloway at the Real Radio Breakfast Show. Well, I don't give a damn who it's with. It would be pulling your leg. Well, it's about time you got your fucking act right and get your fuck off it. <laughs> Language, sir. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who you are. And I don't give a fuck who, what radio it's going out on. If I could get older, I'd fucking crucify you. <laughs> well, on the bench? Yes, I on the fucking bench. <laughs> Oh, you're a star. I, I'll be a fucking star if I can get hold of you, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why don't you come and see me and I'll fucking sort you out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless now. You will be speechless if I get hold of you. I'll fucking strangle you. No, we've got, we, we can we can come round there and take your bench away from you, sir. <laughs> yeah, well, come and try it. <laughs> Now fuck off. <laughs> With a black and decker. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello, madam. Good morning. It's Robin Galloway at Real Radio again. Hi. Yes, he's quite a man. Aye, and that, you know, my husband can well do without this. But why? Because he's just after having a heart operation. I'm, I'm around here. Just a minute. That is terrible. Well, we're only having a joke with you. And yet this is going out on air. What? This has caused us a lot of upset. How? Just talk to me. Right, you cunt. What are you phoning back for? Well, we were just phoning back to see if you had a sense of humour, sir. That was all. Well, I haven't got a fucking sense of humour. You've upset my wife well, and me. What programme are you on? The Real Radio Breakfast Show. And, yeah, well, and you can Real Radio to fuck out of my life. I'm not going to fuck about you or your programme. I'm reporting it. Right. To the authorities. Okay. You upset my wife, and I, this is not the end of it. Well, could you could your wife accept my apology? No, she will not. But real radio, I'll fucking find out where you are. Well, I'll tell you where we are, sir. We're in yeah, Bay- you're in Falkirk, aren't you? No, we're not in Falkirk. Well, it's near enough. Where are you? We're in Glasgow. If I can get into Glasgow, you'll be a fucking sorry lot. Well, uh, why don't I pop a letter in the post to your wife apologising? That's not good enough. With a payment. With a payment? Yes, with a fucking payment. Uh, how much would you like? Fifty pound. Well, I think that's a little steep, isn't it, sir? No, it's not steep. Uh, well, we're going to we're going to contact the authorities what? about real radio. Okay. And I'll get in the papers. And the papers. The papers. We'll we'll make your bloody life misery. Okay. It's going to cost you. Right. And uh, if you ever phone here again... No, I won't do that, sir, but I'm willing to write to apologise for any grievance I've caused. Plus a cheque. Well, that's extortion, isn't it? I don't, it's not extortion. The vast majority of people thank me and say thanks for making my day. And well, that's all we were trying to do. Day. I mean, the position I'm in with this heart operation, it's going to cost you.